What's TPM, total productive manu manufacturing, total productive maintenance, 10 people mopping, totally painted machines. There are a lot of people talking about it, but it's, to me, it's all common sense. To me, it's as common sense as all employees have some sort of a commitment for safety, not just the safety engineer. It's as com much common sense as each employee's commitment to quality, not just the quality assurance department. But you know what, in so many companies, the paradigm is this, is that we have a maintenance department. You know, no, 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 we don't get involved in, in taking care of equipment. That's the maintenance business. But the point is, is those machines that make all of our candy, all of our confections, they're a print and press for our wages, for our profits, for our reinvestment for tomorrow. So why shouldn't it be like uh, quality and or safety? And I think a lot of people wind up getting very, very um, intimidated by it, because maintenance is a black box to them. And like I like to tell a, a lot of people, unless you're building rockets, it's not rocket science. It's very simple. A lot of things that we're going to talk about are a very common sense approach. Um, so the first point I want to put out to you, and maybe it's something to think about, is, is are you in control of your equipment, or is your equipment controlling you? Do you have a maintenance function, or do you have a repair function? because a lot of people can't really answer those questions very well. And I think there has to be a little bit of shift in the way they think, all the way from the C-suites on down, that asset care, asset maintenance, rather than run to failure and fix it when it's broke, is something that needs to be uh, a cornerstone of the way everyone does business in our operations. 